age, director NAMA Women Advancement Establishment, and she will be talking how does women leadership lead to a more equitable world for all. Now, I am delighted to have this woman here with us. I cannot do her bio justice, so I would recommend you turn over to the back to, of the program and read her extraordinary bio. I'll just say a couple of things. Uh, Reem Binkaram, Her Excellency, is the Director of NAMA Women Advancement Establishment since 2016, where she manages and oversees the implementation and execution of its strategies. NAMA is an umbrella entity for three um, other entities, Sharjah Business Women Council, Earthy Contemporary Crafts Council, and Badiri Education and Development Academy. I can go on. She's won multiple awards. She's been recognized in so many ways. As I said, I can't do it justice. So, Your Excellency, please come up here and share your insights with us. Thank you, Christina, for the lovely intro. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to you all. Standing on a platform, committed to highlighting the importance of female leadership and gender diversity in the Arab region's economy. It is only fitting I begin my speech by quoting a passionate champion of the cause. Her Highness, Sheikh Fatma bin Timbarak, President of the General Women's Union, Supreme Chairperson of the Family Development Foundation President of the Supreme Council for Motherhood and Childhood, the mother of the UAE, who has asserted that in the UAE, we believe strongly that empowerment of women is important to the future of our country. Without the complete participation of our nation's women, we will not reach our maximum potential. This is not just rhetoric. This is a fact and holds truth, not just for the UAE, but the entire world. There is solid evidence that proves what businesses and organizations are missing out when they keep half of the female population out of the economic equation. Studies show that the global economy suffers 160.2 trillion US dollars annually of loss due to unused human capital arising from lack of equitable opportunities. This translates to about twice the value of our global GDP. Now, how could any company anywhere in the world ignore 50% of the potential workforce and expect to be competitive in the global economy is honestly beyond me. Let me present a couple of more to prove this argument. In a study of Fortune 500, companies published a couple of weeks ago, Catalyst reported that only 5.8% of women hold CEO positions in S&P 500 companies. The study also found that companies with the highest representation of women in leadership positions experienced a 35% greater return on equity and a 34% higher return to stakeholders and shareholders than those with the lowest representations. So ladies and gentlemen, gender equity is not just social cultural concern. It also presents a clear business case. It was with these concerns and several more connected to the vision of Her Highness Sheikh Jawahar bint Muhammad Al Qasimi, chairperson of NAMA Women Advancement, of creating an inclusive 
and equitable world where women will have every opportunity they need to be able to reach their fullest potential. And by that, Nama Women Advancement Establishment was founded in 2015. Nama and its three affiliates, Sharjah Business Women Council, Irithi Contemporary Craft Council, and Badiri Education and Development Academy, have core functions in businesses, education, and craft sectors, which target specific areas of women's empowerment. These include enabling their access to knowledge and skill learning, creation of a development network that offers the services, support systems, and resources they need to realize their fullest potential and tap into suitable market opportunities. And finally, drive women's full integration in the economy by launching, managing, and supervising a series of initiatives, programs, and projects which NAMA, sorry, with NAMA's local, regional, and international partners. Now, as I have chosen to speak about women's leadership and their role in inspiring a creation, the creation of a more equitable world, I would like to name a few women in the UAE and the Arab world who are leading by example. A number of high profile women are chipping at the cement ceiling in Gulf countries and making it possible for others to do the same. For instance, Her Excellency Sheikha Lubna Al Qasimi, the former UAE Minister of Toler State for Tolerance, was listed amongst the world's 100 most powerful women by Forbes. Bissamina Rustamani, CEO of TCOM, Business Parks, began her career in 2001 with one project in TCOM Investments. Today, oversees 11 free, uh, 11 free zone clusters under the same company. For Khawla Al Kuraya, principal clinical scientist in King, Fahad, uh, King Faisal's hospital and research center and is the director for the research center for children's cancer. Experiencing marriage and motherhood quite early did not deter her from her dreams and pursuing medicine. Now there are dozens of success stories like these that have come together to generate a new wave of gender equity in the Arab world and beyond. And yet, as we all know, there are numerous, still there are numerous barriers preventing women from either joining the workforce or growing in their careers across industry sectors due to gendered preconceptions and stereotypes. In a 2019 study, conducted by NEMA and in partnership with the Pearl Initiative, the top factors hindering women's progression <coughs> at the workplace across 11 industries in all five Gulf nations were identified. Interestingly, even though 79% of the study's respondents said their managements were, in theory, fully committed to boosting gender diversity in the workplace, women were still being subjected to preconceptions, stereotypes, and unconscious biases. Top factors hindering the workplace progression that the survey's respondents identified, including having children, lack of policies supporting women's advancement, being subjected to demanding work hours, lack of work-life balance, preconceived notions of women's roles. Ladies and gentlemen, these issues require solutions to be wide-ranging in order to cover both economic and socio-cultural 
fronts via mobilizing industry-wide stakeholders participation, causing a positive change from the grassroots all the way to the decision makers. It is within these goals in, her, in mind that Her Highness Sheikh Jawahar bint Muhammad Al Qasimi launched Elevate in December 2019, a pioneering global platform which aims to address the gaps within women economic empowerment initiatives in the global south by incorporating the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals and women empowerment principles, which are internationally recognized markers of progress. Elevate is NAMA's and Sharjah's latest attempt to bring stakeholders from diverse sectors together in a unique network of change makers who will influence change from grassroots all the way to the top. Among Elevate's core objectives are promoting implementation of effective laws and policies to foster gender equity, driving greater inclusion of women in leadership and supply chains, and lead and manage initiatives that enable education, training, and capacity building for women. The platform will also have mechanisms in place to enable regular data-driven measurement and public reporting on progress of women's inclusion policies. Ladies and gentlemen, firms, big or small, can drive positive transformation by promoting more women to leadership positions. The evidence for economic and business case for gender equity is mounting. And there is no doubt we need to take sensible, actionable decisions to ensure that there are more women in the boardrooms and in senior management positions. I believe great change is taking place. Well, right now, starting with this room, with a handful of amazing dynamic women like your good selves and supporting gentlemen. All the way to the great women leaders out there. Our future generation has the right to grow up in a world where gender equity is a norm, not just wishful thinking. So let's make it happen. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day. Your Excellency, that was extremely inspiring.